Um, what's the difference of creating a data product instead of creating a typical non-data product, you know, like a chair or a desk? Yeah, so my background is actually in industrial and service mm -hmm. design. And I mean, if we take the example of a chair, which is um, quite different from a data product, um, there are some core differences, but also some similarities, I would say. I think the, the main difference is that um, in the data product, the main value comes from the data. So the, the raw material we're actually using there. Because if the data is not of good quality or the model we use to transform the data to extract insights is not delivering correctly, mm -hmm. then no amount of good design can, can correct that. Um, we first need good data and good insights and then the user experience design can actually help to make it more usable and, and better to use. On the flip side for designing a chair, for example, the material can be wood or plastic, mm -hmm. but it wouldn't change the core function of the chair, which is still meant to sit on. Um, so what it does influence though is maybe um, the aesthetics, um, the look and feel of the product. Um, it can influence the consumer's choice. It can create emotional uh, connection to the product. But um, the usability mainly comes from, from the function of it. Um, so I, I would say that's one of the core differences. But then they're also similar in the way that design is always starting with the user. Mm -hmm. So that process is the same. And data products, we also try to understand the user needs in the first steps and trying to include the users throughout the design process.